While it's great to be guided by your instincts, it's also good to make sensible choices. It's all a question of where you are in life at the time. As strategy consultant, who became a fashion designer, Ekta Cullen tells us. Local fashionistas flocked to Santon for one of the top events on the style calendar and Korea was looking forward to seeing more than just the collections. South African Fashion Week is probably one of my favourite weeks of the year. Not only because I get to dress up all fancy, but I get to see some of South Africa's designers showcasing their best work. Today, you can see behind me, we're getting ready for an amazing show and I get to hang out with one specific designer who's up and coming. A few months back, Ekta's laptop was awash with spreadsheets, presentations and all the other tools of the corporate world, but not anymore. Ekta! Hi, Hi, how are you? Fine, and you? Good, thank you. Wow, you look very busy. Getting there, yes, all ready for SA Fashion Week. So, Ekta, this world is still pretty new to you. I mean, you were still in finance last year. Yeah, so it's been quite a long journey before coming to where I am. I first did a finance degree, worked in management consulting, but fashion was always my childhood dream and passion. Did you always have a creative side growing up? I loved dressing up, just playing with design images, the idea of something new or always coming up, mm -hmm. something that you're creating, whether it's architecture, photography, or anything in that field to play with. So I think that always was something that was a motivator. So your name is Ekta and you've chosen to go with the same name for your brand. Why is that and what does it mean? Ekta actually means unity in Sanskrit. That really resonates with me quite a bit in terms of my beliefs and thinking as well as my design process. Everyone and anyone can wear Ekta piece and yeah, feel great about themselves. <laughs> you have very fun funky out there designs. What inspired you to create them? Growing up with festivals like Holi and Diwali where colour is used so much in celebration as well as bringing people together. When you want to feel good about yourself, colour brings that. <laughs> and yeah, that's where most of the design inspiration, colour can always lift your mood up and make you feel good about yourself. This would be Ekta's Fashion Week debut and the evening was sold out. Despite the pressure, she projected an aura of friendly confidence. How has growing up in South Africa influenced you as a designer? We're a country of so much diversity, a melting pot of cultures and people. And I think that has brought about the influence in my design from a child being going to an Anglican school, you know, in, engaging with children from different cultures and faiths, as well as my own Indian culture. And I think that has influenced me in terms of my design. I'm South African, I'm Indian, I'm, I'm a global child. Well, everyone is here tonight to see your collection, but do you think you can give me a little sneak peek before it goes on the runway? Yes, sure, of course. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ekta had indicated that color played a major role in a creative approach, and the garments confirmed this. Oh, I like this. Oh look, it's got some blue in it as well. So tell me a little bit about your collection and you know, where did the inspiration come from? The whole story behind this collection is I wanted it to be about femininity but as well as boldness, that softness of being a feminine woman but there's a lot of boldness and strength in her as well. The line is actually called Diffusion, a mix of bringing different cultures together and changing it into a new form and place. And I think it's so important in this day and age where we need to think about inclusivity, femininity, and that's what the collection's about. It's about soft feminine touches with the color, but boldness as well. It is your very first fashion week. What does it feel like? It's been exhilarating, exciting, nerve-wracking, sleepless nights. Well, I'm gonna leave you to get ready for your show and I'm gonna be sitting front row and I can't wait to see your design. Thank you so much, it's been really wonderful. While Kriya made her way to her seat, Ekta, the models and the backstage team focused on all the tiny details that could spell the difference between the line being declared on point or not quite there. How the dresses, what goes away? With classic black forming the baseline, the palettes presented a funky combo of pink, burgundy, canary yellow, lime, indigo and teal tones. 
Silhouettes were clean and tailored, with embellishment limited to bold applique, presenting a sassy, contemporary look. Having made a convincing debut, Ekta could relax and enjoy some well-deserved applause. Ekta, your very first Fashion Week done and dusted. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You've kind of come full circle from resigning to now having your own fashion label and doing your very first SA Fashion Week. What does it feel like? No, it's actually quite a surreal moment right now. Um, I'm kind of relieved, and but it's also, it's amazing like, all the build up to one one moment, one time, and yes, it's now it's done. Well, I think her designs are very uh, out there in terms of what's happening with the trends in Europe. It was very striking, and it had an amazing thread running through the whole collection. Absolutely loved it. I thought it was colorful, unique, and something you could wear um, on a night out. Absolutely beautiful.